I'm the Secretary for Mental Health. Um, I work for a charity in Swindon called Sons. Can you tell me please what you're going to do around mental health and how to improve it and how to support people like us as the third sector to support service users on mental health patients? As you know, it's increasing. It, a very good point. First of all, I think we should stop um, calling it the third sector. You know, this idea that there's the, the state sector, and then the private sector, and then the voluntary sector, the dear little voluntary sector, the third sector. I mean, in many ways, you're the first sector. The voluntary sector was involved in alleviating poverty and helping with mental health and trying to stop people going back to prison way before the state or the private sector. So in many ways, you're the first sector. So let's big up what the voluntary sector does. The, the next thing I would say is that in many cases, the state sector is sort of failing with some of the really difficult cases, and the voluntary sector is succeeding. So what I'd like to see is the state saying to the voluntary sector, here's a longer term contract, you know, a three year contract, here's guaranteed money for the three years, you don't have to keep going back and begging, and also we're going to trust you to carry out more of the work uh, that, that we do. I, I always use the example, of my constituency where there are two youth clubs, one run by the county council, one run by the voluntary sector. The one with the voluntary sector is far more popular, much more close to what the kids actually want. And we should trust the voluntary sector more. Longer term contracts, longer term money, larger things to do. And mental health, we've got to stop treating it as the sort of Cinderella separate service. There are huge numbers of families in the country affected by mental health. We need to take the stigma away, talk about it more, and make it more part of the mainstream when we think about the NHS. So, with the white